a word from MISC. Simple and efficient design has been MISC cornerstone from the very beginning. Formed in Centauri System in 2805, the company started by producing heavy industrial machinery and bulk freighters, like the whole series, that won a claim for their durability and ease of use. As the company's ambitions grew, so did their market share. Though some had claimed the civilian ship field was saturated, Miss saw the chance to bring their signature style to a wider market. After signing the unprecedented land lease agreement with the Zion, Miss began to incorporate incredibly new Xeno tech into civilian ships like the Freelancer and the Reliant. This blend of revolutionary alien design along with Miss signature form and function is why the company has been deemed the future of spaceflight by the Terra Gazette. MISC is honored to be part of this year's Intergalactic Aerospace Expo, and excited to show off the ships we've worked so hard to perfect. Where are they now? MISC Starfare tanker successfully kicked off a number of Star Citizen's multi-crew and larger ship systems earlier this year. It's flight ready in Crusader today. The base Freelancer and Reliant are also currently flyable. The Freelancer will receive another pass to bring it up to current standards. And all the variants will be made flyable as part of this process. The Reliant variants are also in development, although some of them will require additional game systems that have not yet gone live, such as the broadcast system used in the news van. The whole series will serve as an important testbed for our cargo systems with the whole A and whole C being built out as the flagships of the line. The whole B, D and E will follow, based on the artwork and lessons learned from the first two. The Endeavour modules are in concept, with additional implementation work planned for next year. MISC also has an unannounced concept ship in the works, aiming to place well in the 2947 Murray Cup. So folks, what does all this mean? Well, it's day four uh, of the uh, anniversary sale, and uh, yeah, it's being kicked off really well with uh, MISC ships. Uh, if you've ever wanted an Endeavour, now is the perfect time to pick one up. The uh, an anniversary base uh, Endeavour is 273 pounds and then you can have the Endeavour Discovery class for 331 pounds, Endeavour Hope class 351 pounds, Endeavour Olympic class 390 pounds and Anniversary Master Set Endeavour 702 pounds. Now the Endeavour is an incredibly modular ship and it's going to be well widely needed for or large organizations because it can serve as a multitude of different vessels at the same time. So yeah, I'd highly recommend picking up an Endeavour. Or if you are looking to get into science, uh, the science role, which I'll have a video on soon, I'd recommend picking up the Endeavour because it's the best ship for that role, and it's the same for farming and that sort of stuff. It's a really, really good ship. So, also, we've got the entire Freelancer series up for sale, which is uh, cool. Then we have the Reliant Core uh, series and the whole series of ships. So guys, this is a good chance for you to pick up some of these ships you've always wanted. We have the Starfarer and the Prospector on sale. Prospector's going pretty cheap at the moment for £109, it's not bad. Then we have the uh, Starfarers and whatnot like I uh, mentioned, but we also, also have different packs here. We have the MISC Intro Pack, which contains a Freelancer, a Starfarer, Reliant Core Mini Hauler, Hold B, and a VFG Industrial Hangar, and 48 month insurance for all of these vessels for £382. So if you're a big fan of the MISC series, and I know there's a few of you that are, then this is the package for you. A lot of the people that follow this channel are either Drake or Aegis kind of guys, but uh, I do like the MISC series of ships. I don't particularly like them more than Aegis, but um, I, I do like them nonetheless. I mean, every ship in Star Citizen has its place in my opinion. Then we have the, uh, the MISC Mega Pack. Now this is for your most hardcore fan. So this comes with a Freelancer, a MISC Endeavor, uh, Endeavor General Science 2 plus 1, Endeavor uh, Super Collider 2 times 2, Freelancer Max, Reliant Mako News Van, Hole E, Hole A, VFG Industrial Hangar, Reliant Core Mini Hauler, Endeavor Fuel Pod 2 times 1, Endeavor Service Equipment and Crew 2 times 1, and then we have the Endeavor Telescope Array 2 times 1, Freelancer Dur, Reliant Sen Researcher, Hole D, Hole C, Lifetime Insurance folks, that's Lifetime Insurance, this is very important, a Starfarer, Endeavor Research Lab, an Endeavor Landing Bay basically, a Medical Bay, a Endeavor Biodome, 
a freelancer miss, a reliant Tana, skirmisher, Holby, and a prospector. You get the entire MISC series with lifetime insurance for £2,371. If you guys have got those spare funds knocking around, or you've decided this is your big package, this is what's going to be your end game, you can have it now and you'll have your entire infrastructure set up with this package. This contains all the ships you'll need to, uh, to have a good time in terms of trading and mining and... Uh, exploration and science it's it's a really really well-rounded package this one i mean it contains mo majority of the ships are very non-combat orientated but that's also a good thing because it lets you also try all the other roles in the game and you get an endeavor with everything i mean you get it's like you get the endeavor with everything we're talking pepperoni we're talking cheese you know what i mean we're talking you know thick crust this endeavor comes with a lot okay guys so I'd recommend picking up this package if you're a huge fan of the Endeavor uh, and uh, you're a large fan of the MISC series. Also, for some reason, the Aegis uh, Saber Comet is for sale right now, even though it shouldn't be, I might add. But oh well, it's supposed to be the Hornet Wildfire that's up for sale today. Um, I don't know what's going on there, but it, it's all good nonetheless. I mean, you know, I'm not complaining. But yeah, there's... There's a, a really good chance you guys will be able to pick up some good ships here. So uh, get it while the going's hot and uh, enjoy the anniversary sale. Right, so let's now talk about the paint schemes. How can we not talk about them? They're amazing. I mean, I absolutely adore them. Uh, so guys, if you're looking to pick up one of these ships, like I said before, like one of the new exclusive uh, paint jobs and different loadout ships, it's going to fly exactly the same to, uh, you know, like the, the Comet will fly exactly the same to a normal Saber. It's just got a different paint scheme, and it's got uh, some lore behind it, and a, uh, a different loadout. That's about it, guys. And it's got new weapons that will feature in 2.6, and you might be wondering where these ships are if you've bought one. Well, they will be coming in 2.6. Um, remember, guys, please remember this. All it is is a different paint scheme and a new loadout. But what this also helps do, it helps, pr like, you know, support the... Uh, the developers and stuff in continuing continuing on this work what they're doing at the moment is they're currently working on uh, having it so we can customize our own ships you know with our own like sort of hex layout on paint schemes and stuff the idea being they said that uh, they could literally have hundreds of these different paint jobs you know all going off at once and it wouldn't make a, a difference because they're so small in memory and that's really good news for us. Also, they're talking about having it so, you know, when players can customize them, say if an organization or a clan, like the clan leader could say, hey, you know, this is our uh, paint scheme and then uh, there'll be no messing around. It could just give you a, a code and then you could just punch that in basically and then boom, that's it. Uh, your ship is now the same as uh, everybody else's in the organization. So that'd be cool. We'll see some unified looking ships going around, like larger organizations and whatnot. With Death Corp, I'm planning on holding like a, a like you know a vote for uh, what kind of a paint scheme we'll be using and stuff. I was thinking maybe a, a, maybe a real industrialist kind of grim kind of look, but yeah, I mean it's uh, we'll see how it goes. So yeah, paint schemes are uh, are awesome in my opinion because it adds a whole new layer to the game. This this one here is my favorite for one reason. I'm not a fan of the color, but I'm a fan of the the shading effect that went with it. The you know, like the the grime, the very sort of like um, used look. I do like that. Ships will get that look over time anyway. See ya. All right, commanders, you know the drill. Fly safe, and I'll be seeing you in the verse.